name is Tolga Önce and I work as the country sales manager. Being a sales manager for IKEA means that you are responsible to uh, work with the uh, starting from the catalog, uh, the range, the pricing, uh, what combinations uh, and so on onto the web. All the preparation where customers and consumers meet the range. And then, uh, of course, uh, mainly we do in, uh, in the stores how to present the range, which range to present where, uh, what focus areas we should have, and uh, uh, learn more about the range, uh, what the products can do, actually, and uh, meet the customers' needs, dreams and desires they have at home. Uh, secure that we have the lowest price on the market uh, for good functional home furnishings. And it uh, also means that you have a matrix uh, role towards the stores. I started in a city called Jönköping and uh, I was 23 years old. Uh, newly graduated, uh, no real life experience uh, within business. It was more uh, some part-time jobs, weekends and housekeeping at hotels and uh, you know restaurants and so on. So this was the real thing uh, to take a step into the business life. And uh, the good thing was I had a fantastic support of uh, my store manager who uh, hired me. He was uh, very mature and uh, very high self-confidence and he dared to take this risk uh, coming into a store being the youngest in the management team. I loved my job, I loved being in sales, uh, out meeting the customers, really seeing when the range meets the, the visitors, what happens, the interaction. Uh, so I realized this is it, I want to continue with this. And then, of course, uh, plans change, and uh, I got a phone call, a question, would you like to move uh, with IKEA to uh, Istanbul? And the fact I have uh, Turkish heritage, it was a both personal and professional uh, opportunity to grab uh, at a young age, uh, take a big responsibility, moving to a new country. Uh, but the fact that I had the store experience in Sweden gave me this opportunity. I think it would be hard to get that chance somewhere else, uh, but it turned out good as well. So I stayed there for three and a half years and then moved back. Uh, so now for the last two and a half years, I am working in Sweden. And that I think I love the most about my job, that we are actually living according to the vision we have. I think, that, yeah, I would say that is. Uh, then I mean the job in itself. Uh, I have it now, but maybe tomorrow somebody else is doing my job. So uh, as long as the vision is there, I will continue work for the company. Possibilities within IKEA is uh, far more than uh, most people think. Uh, I, uh, every day, every week, every month, uh, you discover uh, new areas within IKEA, new branches that we are working with, uh, totally different than uh, just the stores, which we are quite familiar to even before we start to work for IKEA. But the, there is everything within supply, purchasing, uh, real estate, uh, there is banking and uh, yeah, you name it. My dream job is to be a store manager uh, within IKEA. And, uh, and I also live the dream. I have been a store manager in IKEA and I think that's the best job you can have within IKEA. And uh, now I see myself on a uh, journey where I will um, enlarge my knowledge and competence uh, about IKEA in order to be even a better store manager next time uh, I get the chance to be one. In order to do a good job, 
uh, I would say that the success factors would be that you should uh, take the chance and time to work in a store somewhere in the world, uh, in different uh, parts of the, the, the store, different departments, if possible, different uh, functions. Uh, it can be sales and uh, customer relation or logistic or uh, communicating in interior design, uh, different uh, functions within the store to get a deeper understanding of uh, why you will be the sales manager, why you should take certain decisions, why we should focus on certain areas of the range and uh, what areas to rebuild in a store, where to put the focus on the competence development of the people. I mean, those decisions, if you want to be successful, you should have the understanding of how the store uh, operates and uh, how it works. I'm not sure that a typical IKEA career exists. Uh, I would say... I would say like this, uh, and it's based on what I, how I see it. Uh, there is no typical IKEA career. There is a typical career for you within IKEA. Uh, so it's more personal career that you will do. And based on that, I would say the, the, the requirements uh, or prerequisites is your personal values uh, that you have, uh, that you really feel that the ones that you have really deep inside on your way of looking at other people, uh, the way you look at uh, how uh, life is, uh, the, that you really want to do good. If you share, those are the same as uh, the one uh, IKEA has, then I think uh, that's the base, that's the must. And if you have that uh, and you are smart and you are uh, uh, energy, uh, you have a lot of passion, energy, and you are doing a good job, whatever job you have, uh, then you will get your personal career within IKEA. About IKEA's social responsibility and uh, sustainability for the environment uh, and the people, I would say uh, uh, that if, if there is an interest of what IKEA is doing globally and uh, with uh, via our foundation we have it's uh, to uh, go online watch and uh, read all about it uh, what I can do what I can say is what we are doing and uh, connected that the sustainability should be an integral part of everything we do in IKEA when we find something that is a win for the consumers and the customers and a win for the sustainability like a social or environmental we feel that we have the power and the need to go for that uh, i mean we are investing a lot in lowering the prices in induction hubs so more people can see the benefit of going from a traditional hub into induction hub which saves about 30% of uh, energy and heats up the water much faster and so on. So I think uh, from that point of view, the good thing within IKEA is that everyone, regardless what you do, can actually contribute. I would say IKEA would be a uh, very humble, very, uh, very down to earth, uh, of course, very, very cost conscious uh, person who wouldn't pay more than needed uh, to get uh, what they need. And I would also say that that person would be very good in uh, communicating. And uh, the person, of course, would have a high passion for uh, home furnishing and people's life at home. There are certain things that are very, very important, of course. Uh, one is that you are uh, in line with the job description that you have and that you deliver uh, according. And then you, you are meeting the expectations. But of course, when you have met uh, the job description and you reach the goals, 
of course, the expectation becomes that you should uh, over perform and uh, over deliver on the, 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 the goals, the KPIs, uh, and uh, it can be soft, it can be very uh, fact-based uh, goals as well, uh, facts and figures, but that you uh, really deliver on the expectations that exist. It's uh, a company where we put a lot of uh, responsibility in every person, but at the same time, we give uh, an equal amount of mandate. If you are interested within uh, home furnishing uh, to be a part of creating a better everyday life for the many people, you should read a bit more about uh, what IKEA stands for. And when you then feel that, wow, this, we are equal, we feel the same way, we have the same view on life, on other people, and the home furnishing interest that you have, then I definitely think you should uh, apply to IKEA and uh, start a fantastic journey that will be your journey within IKEA and your contribution to the vision. Mm -hmm.